Tamil Nadu Chief Minister M K Stalin announced the solatium of 10 lakh rupees to Kanaya's family. Kanaya died on Monday due to burn injuries after he set himself on fire on Sunday to stop officials from evicting the people of Govindasamy Nagar near Chennai's Bakkingam Canal. The eviction drive was carried out by the Water Resources Department on Sunday, May 8. This had occurred a day before the Supreme Court was to hear the case. Protesting this illegal eviction, Kanaya set himself on fire, leading to a scuffle between the authorities and the residents of Govind Sami Nagar. He was admitted to the Kilpak Medical College for treatment, but he passed away due to injuries on Monday, May 9th. Initially, the residents who were to be evicted were allocated houses located at Singmencheri and Perumbatkam. Since these areas are on the outskirts of Chennai city, the protesters demanded another appropriate area to reside in. Reacting to this, Dalit rights activist and popular Kollywood director Paranjit called it an act of aggression against the people of Chennai. But Tali Makkal Katchi, PMK, leader S. Ramadas also condemned that eviction drive. He urged that the eviction drive be stopped immediately. It is a violation of human rights to demolish their houses, calling it encroachment, tweeted Ramadas.